privilege as always, fantastic to be here. Um, the Bulls, another fantastic lineup of Bulls, a credit to you and Susan. Yeah, thanks Benny. Welcome back to Twin Oaks. Um, it's always good to have you here at this time of year and um, catch up on what we're trying to achieve here. Well, I mean, speaking on that, I mean, you spoke, you and Susan spoke to me, you know, years ago about your aims and, and where your drives are for pretty much, you know, growth and mm. carcass and carcass quality and, and, and the bulls that we've been looking at today, you know, they're a clear example of that. If we go back three years ago, we had a really, really uh, strict goal, didn't we? We, we? we knew the type of animal we wanted to uh, produce and we know the type of animal we like to look at. And so we've been pretty strict there. So I think today, uh, looking at the bulls and the evenness of the bulls mm. is sort of starting to tell its own story, we believe. And it is, uh, you, you're using some really interesting sires, like mm. you're one of the few breeders, you're not just breeding out of the book, you're actually no. going over and you're inspecting every sire that you, yep. you find and you've got some really interesting genetics on offer, you know, today. Yeah, well we always said right from the start, if, if we're going to use a bull, we're always going to see him. So that's quite a big um, task in itself is going around the world and, and finding those bulls and yeah it's it's pretty exciting now what's coming in the next two years and we know that and mm. seeing what's on the ground now and in, in the paddock here for sale this year yeah so it's it's cool so tell us a bit about the side lines that you got on off so we've got quite a number of young bulls here by the the bull kakahu ke uh, keystone that we brought uh two years ago um a new zealand bred bull from the kakahu herd um He's pretty exciting that sire, he's, he's a bull with great carving ease, really good on his fertility trait and he's got super marbling and um, carcass weight and he's really bred consistently for us so his young bulls are looking really good. We've also got a bull musgrave mediator who is an aviator son, so aviator we've seen for about three years and He's another exciting bull that we wanted to capture, so we captured him through a son. So some really nice bulls here by him. And also, once again, we've got Big Sky, the second lot of bulls by Big Sky that's done an amazing job for us with putting a lot of growth and carcass weight into our females, so. And yeah. you're still pulling out incredible bulls, like, you know, your Tamania Regent um, yep. bull. I mean, there's some outstanding calves by him. Yeah, there's some good bulls here by him again. He's a bull that we just keep using. It's hard to go away from him because he's spread so well. Um, exactly, and look, your developments in the New Zealand beef industry, you're, you're now a proud member of Angus Pure. Um, it must be great being on sort of the modern end of the New Zealand beef industry. Yeah, yeah, so we um, became a partner of Angus Pure this year, so that's, that's really cool. Uh, good for our clients, good for ourselves, and yeah, that's really good. Well, Rog, thanks for having me, mate. Look forward yep. to being back at the sale. Yep. Um, I hope it continues raining. Yeah, thanks, mate.